Hello everybody and welcome to your Mansfield's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a reading for the sign of Scorpio. This is a mid-September reading so what I have done here is I want to come and get the energy of both partners. So we have over here energy of partner of your partner and over here we have two different tarot decks for your energy what is going on. Blessings, challengings, we're just really going to check out all of the energy. We're going to conclude these readings with each partner with two different oracle decks. So one from Spirit, Message of Love, and the other one is going to be with the Divine, so the Angels. Um, if you have never been to this channel before, I do welcome you so very much. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do click onto the subscribe button and that like button. It's always greatly appreciated. Also, this is a general reading. It might not resonate with everybody. And if ever you do have any questions, you would like to come and um, meet us. We do have every night from 9 Eastern Standard Time until midnight every night on YouTube. We have a live streaming, live tarot. So if you have any questions, you would like them to be answered, come and see us. So let's start this off here. We want some Scorpio. Please give us Scorpio energy spirit. Spirit, please do give me that Scorpio energy, please. Scorpio. I need Scorpio's energy. Scorpio partner's energy for mid-September. Please do, Spirit, give me this information. We are going to begin here. I'm going to take out five cards from this deck, three from the following. We have a lot of reversals. We have a fool in reverse. We also actually say I have a lot. Yes, I also have the strength, which is also in reverse. So what is going on here exactly? I feel like your partner right now is a little bit about being on guard. I feel like this relationship is we want to be into this relationship. Let me just make that clear to begin with. We love you. We want to be into, into the relationship. But lately, it's as if we're battling a lot. It's as if we're fighting a lot. It's as if maybe there could be accusations. Or it's really about the main key word I could find here is about being defensive. I feel like we need to be defensive. Otherwise we're kind of lost. We kind of, we're just kind of always feeling a little bit taxed. So because of this, I am seeing that your partner is not really, they want to be with you, but maybe they're distant or maybe they're not quite moving forward. You're not making plans for the future. The energy around into this couple is also feeling kind of different right now. So uh, please do keep that in mind that the energy that is flowing, the energy that is here right now is as an an energy of needing to defend oneself. It's not to confront. It's really to defend. For some reason, they feel like they have to explain. They feel like they have to stand their ground. So why are they standing their ground? Why are they feeling like this? Why are they kind of feeling a little bit of attacked? And please, Spirit, Spirit, please do give me some messages. Please, Spirit, give me some messages on Scorpio Partner. I need Scorpio Partner with some messages. Please do give me some clarity. Why is Scorpio feeling this way? Why is Scorpio feeling like they have to defend themselves? Again, we're defending. We're defending with the seven. We're defending with the five. We're afraid of being judged. We are afraid of being judged. It's as if we are hiding some information within us. It's not evil information. It's not mean information. It's information that we are hiding because we are afraid of being judged. Because we, um, we want these happy endings. Okay? We do. We want them. Uh, it's very important for us to get them. Uh, your partner loves you very much. Your partner wants this outcome. Your partner wants some goodness here. But um, right now, it's just not possible. But please do know that it has not yet, you know, it hasn't been forgotten. It's not out of the, um, of the possibilities. The love is there. But the love is a little bit difficult right now. It's challenging. Let's put it that way. Spirit, please, Spirit, give me some messages. Spirit, angels, spirits and angels, please. 
the divine, please, angels, give us some messages. Give us some messages on one word, just one word. What does Scorpio have to look out for? What would be that one main word, angels, that you would give Scorpio partner? What would it be? You're ready. You are ready. You are ready, Scorpio partner. What are you ready for? You're ready to be in this relationship. You're ready to move forward. You're ready to release whatever it is that is holding you back, whatever it is that you need to defend yourself against. This is about being ready to accept, to soar, being ready to get that beautiful ending because this is what we want this is what we want is it not let's go and see over here let's go and see what spirit has to say spirit please spirit please spirit give me some messages spirit please do give me some messages what does a scorpio have to look for what does scorpio have to look for one word of advice what is going on within this relationship what can we do what is it that scorpio must do scorpio partner please All right. Don't make any decisions, Scorpio partner here. This is about not making any decisions based on guilt or even on what you actually think that you should do. This is about being true to yourself so that at the same time you can be true to others. So at the same time, this is giving you a um, Spirit is giving you another perspective with your partner. It's about sometimes how we kind of hide, you know, some certain parts of us. Because, as I was saying, we don't want to be judged, right? We don't want that judgment. We're not interested. So we kind of hide little parts here and there, little particles out of fear. Well, this is about saying, you know what? For Scorpio partner, be yourself. Be yourself within this relationship and you will be loved. Let's go and see now. For you, what is your energy? So, please, Spirit, give me some... Um, Give me some information. Please give me some messages here, Spirit. Spirit, please do give me some messages. What is going on with Scorpio? Scorpio love, mid-September. Please do give me those energies. Scorpio love, mid-September. What can we look out for? I'm going to be taking out here five cards. So that is one. That is two, three, four, and five. All right. Okay, so you know what? As we have one who's going, look at this. We have the partner, Scorpio partner, defending, battling. Well, defending. And here we have your energy. What are you doing? You're attacking. You're moving forward. This is what you're doing. You are feeling like you must attack. You are feeling like you must confront. You're feeling like you must manifest. You're feeling like you must say or do something. And your partner is kind of feeling locked in this, is kind of feeling, um, you know, uh, pushed up against a wall, if you will. This is really about all of that. I need to do something. Why? Because I'm hurt. I am hurt. I need to express it. I need to say it. I need to do something about this. I need to take control of the situation as best as I can because I love you, but I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if I can continue this. Over here we have, I love you. I want to continue. Over here is, I love you, but I'm not quite sure. I'm not sure that I can continue this. And this is going to be a great question to be asked by you. Over here we have the two of grails. This is about um, the lovers of the two of cups, if you will. It's about making that decision is in love. What are you doing? Is this person still important in your life? Do you still want to keep fighting for this person. Let's go with the other deck and get a little bit more clarity. So please, Spirit, give me some clarity on Scorpio's energy mid-September. Please give me some energy. Give me that message. What is it that we need to know for Scorpio mid-September love? Please give me the energy of Scorpio. Here we go. Three cards coming out for you as we speak. We have the chariot searching one's way. We have the ten of pentacles and we have the page of wands. So you know what? We do do have the um we do have the ten of pentacles which is telling me that you know what into the uh, final outcome you do want to be together the difference is you don't know if you're able to do so you're not you're not sure if you're able to make it through all the way things are going to have to become better for you and if things do become better if things um 
if you're able to communicate, you're able to see through all of this, you are going to, um, you're going to succeed. But it's so important. It is so important right now. We really just have, it's kind of almost like a boxing game where somebody keeps coming up fourth and the other one's kind of, you know, trying to hide behind, how do you call them, those jibs or any of those jabs? You know what I mean? This is about, you know, just trying to um, trying to defend yourself. Let me put it that way. So this is truly what your energy is showing right here. Let's go and see what is going on um, with the divine. So what do the angels have to tell you? What do the angels have to tell you for you? Scorpio's energy, angels, Scorpio energy, angels. Please do give me that energy for the from the angels for Scorpio's energy mid September. What is that key word? What is it? No need to worry. There is no need to worry. Everything is going to be okay. Everything is going to be okay coming from the angels. Absolutely beautiful. So let's not worry. Let's not think about the worrying. Let's try to find the solutions. Let's try to move forward. Let's see the blessings. Let's see the love. Let's see what is there and what is positive so we can work upon that. Let's go see what Spirit has to say. Spirit wants to tell you about forgiveness about stop focusing your energy on past events because your life is just too precious to worry. This is about creating your reality by what you think, what you dream and what you imagine. And by doing so, let's not worry. Let's just move on forth into this relationship that you want. You love your partner. This is about coming together. It's about understanding each other. It's about being in love. It's about giving that loving, that comforting, that nurturing feeling instead of that attacking, that defensive feeling that is going on uh, during this mid month of September. So this does conclude your reading. I do hope that it resonated. Um, if you would like to come and join us, you have any questions, as I said, 9 p.m. every night, we are here from 9 till midnight answering your questions into the live streaming. So please do come and join us. If you have not yet subscribed, please do click onto that subscribe button, the like button, and the many blessings. Thank you so very much for being here, and I will be seeing you maybe into the live tonight. Have yourself a great day.